<laughs> this stuff looks like it's going in quick. It does. It, it, it won't take very long to do a, a 3,000 square foot home. It'll take us about three or four hours to, to blow it in. All right, so we're out on a job site today. What exactly are you doing on this house? Well, on this house, uh, what we're doing is a removal and replace. Part of the reason why we are doing the removal on this one, the homeowner here has some allergy problems. So a lot of people don't realize is that attic is the primary source of dust and allergens coming into the home. Yep. And so whenever we do a removal, we come in and we vacuum out all of the old insulation along with you know just all the dirt and junk that collects up there over the years. Then we come back in and we foam seal the attic, meaning we foam seal around all of your can lights, all of your air conditioning return vents, all of the electric plates for uh, ceiling fans, uh, any holes. You're basically that, eliminating the dust coming. That is correct. We're, we basically seal off the attic from the house. Then we come back in and we put in fresh Milo or Milex, uh, which is hypoallergenic. And that can dramatically improve the quality of the air with inside of the home. So if there's anyone that struggles with allergies, then that can give them some nice needed relief while they're at home. So when you're vacuuming this stuff out, Right now in everybody's head, they're seeing a five gallon shop vac. How are you getting this stuff out? <laughs> no, we have a 36 horsepower vacuum that has long hoses that vacuums. We come into a big, huge bag that's 75 cubic feet. It's about four feet around, and then it's about six feet tall. So we have a, a series of bags that we're blowing in. So we remove all of the old insulation. It's just not, you know, we're not just blowing it out into the to the air, it's being yep. contained and we take it to the to the uh, hazardous dump site. So why hazardous? Well, it's it's old it's old uh, fiberglass. Okay. So it would be considered a it's considered a hazardous material, so that's why we we take it to the to the dump and, and have to dispose of it properly. Okay. All right, Todd. So obviously this is how you get material out to the job site, but what do we got going in the corner here? Well, we move everything in bulk and we load the trailer with the Milo, and then these guys here, what they do is they're scooping the Milo and putting it into the hopper. This is a big giant uh, insulation blower that blows it into the home. All right, so in getting set up, I, I noticed you guys have put some boards along the plywood edges. What, what is that for? Correct, that's what we call a plywood retaining board. What it is used for is for two things. It uh, actually allows the insulation to build up along the edges of the decking or walkways so that it uh, doesn't, because otherwise you have to just taper it off. Right, and we're and covering up our plywood then. And that's correct. Not knowing where the edges that, are. That's correct. So the other thing is, is that it keeps the insulation back from the edges. So it allows it, you know, keeps it, keeps it nice and clean. Um, we also use that board for uh, maybe areas of the house where there might be a vaulted ceiling or a raised ceiling. And we'll use that to help hold the insulation in, and again, allow the inches to build up properly along the edges. Otherwise, it'll just cascade off the sides. And it's that simple? It's I mean, we're simple. done then? It's that simple. Wow. Yeah, it's a pretty simple process. Okay.